So we have a definite integral of a vector valued function. So to do this problem, all we have to do is break it up into pieces. So we have to integrate each component. So it'll be the definite integral from zero to one of t squared dt. And then we still have the i plus the definite integral from zero to one of e to the two t dt and we still have the j. To integrate the first piece, we'll just use the power rule. So we'll add one, so we get t cubed over three, and we're going from zero to one. This is a definite integral, and we still have the i plus, and to integrate e to the two t, well, if you had e to the three t, let's say, you would just divide by three. If you had e to the 4t, you would divide by 4. Here you just divide by 2. That always works. In general, if you have e to the at dt, it's just e to the at divided by a plus a constant. And this is true as long as a is not 0. So very, very useful. That way you don't have to spend time with the substitution. So this is e to the 2t, and then we just divide by the 2. Always works every single time. And this is a definite integral, so we're going from 0 to 1. And then we still have the j. Let's keep going. So first, we're going to plug in 1. So we'll plug in 1 for t. So we get 1 cubed minus, over 3 minus 0 cubed over 3. And then we still have the i. Plus, here we plug in the 1 first. So we get e to the 2 times 1, so 2 over 2 minus e to the 0 over 2. And then we still have the j. So 1 cubed is 1, so this is just going to be 1 third i. And then here we're going to get plus parentheses e squared over 2 minus, and e to the 0 is 1, so we get minus 1 half j. And that is the final answer. I hope this helps.